Hey, good morning, y'all. Sports Live in the ATL's Little Sports Fitness Motivation Channel. Early this morning, off today, getting ready to get my gym going. Just waking up, doing a few things this morning. Like, comment, subscribe, everybody. Share it out. Cash app, dollar signs, Little Sports. Just a little update before I get to my topic. Uh, I will be streaming again. Don't forget, folks, uh, Monday Night Football, the Falcons at the Eagles with Where You Hiding. He will be live right here in the, 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 the kingdom of Slitta. And in the um, sports room, maybe a few other people will show up. We shall see. But it's going to be fun. Again, I don't expect to win, but I'm hoping that the Falcons put it together and pull off a win. That would be nice and everything. Uh, for me, it's a week-by-week -week basis. Again, I also want to give a shout-out to everybody who has made <laughs> this week very fun for me, considering it's been a very frustrating uh, opening a week for me, for my team and everything uh but the numbers don't lie the views in the comments subscribers don't lie i do appreciate it and it can and it continues to keep going every day every day i keep popping on here checking my stuff and everything keeps going up so i do appreciate it thank you very much uh this video right here is i, I have a video coming about saints fans pudat fan you bitches later on today i got some things i want to say to y'all i'll give you a little preview right now you beat the carolina panthers enough said um, but this video right here is about a lot of these Falcon fans coming onto my page and, 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 and I understand the frustration. I understand how everybody feels. It was not fun. It was not pleasant to see eight months of expectations, um, and to see the team play the way they did offensively on Sunday. But what's that old saying? One game does not break a season. Okay. One game does not mean you're going to be bad or good. You know, like I said, the Saints beat the Panthers. You think they're going to be good? No. The Falcons 0-1 lost to a Steeler team that just wanted it more in the fourth quarter. Well, one player wanted it more, and that was T.J. Watt. Okay, that doesn't mean the Falcons are going to be bad. I want everybody to put into perspective these few little things here. Okay, Kirk Cousins was com is coming back from a, a, a year uh, Achilles injury. He didn't play in the preseason. The whole O-line didn't play in the preseason. Rust, rust, rust. Okay, plus the O-line didn't block for him at all. Plus the play calls by our dumbass play call. Good Lord, get your brakes fixed. By the play caller, didn't uh, put Kurt in a good situation to make plays. You know, when you're coming off an Achilles injury, you can't be sitting in a damn pocket. You're going to take hits, yes, but you got to roll yourself out so you could, you know, you know, survey the field and kind of stretch your legs out a little bit, you know, and kind of avoid as much contact as possible. Yeah, you're going to get hit, but when you're right under center, and your O-line is not blocking, you're getting molly -walked. And that was obvious. So you guys, like I said, I'm not gonna tell, I'm not telling y'all what to do. I'm just telling y'all what I'm doing. Okay, it's it's you put all those intangibles together, it's a disaster. Kudos that we were even in the ball game. You know, because when he had a little bit of time to play, he made some plays, but you know, the play calling, like I said, was not good. It didn't set him up to win, to make plays. What's up, Alfredo? And a fact that Achilles injury and then also a fact that the O-line didn't protect him at all. So you, you, you put all that together, there's no chance to win. Okay, no chance to win. And then Falcon fans coming on to my page, season's done, Kirk sucks, bring in Michael Penix, what a wasted season. Stop. Okay, you can't let emotions get to you like that. You know, if you do, then I, I question, are you a real fan? There are 16 games. Now, let's just say... It happens again on Monday night. We lose. It happens against Kansas City next week. We lose. It happens week four or week five. We say we start off one and four or zero oh and five, which I don't see happening. You know, we got. We, you know, once we get past the Eagles and the Chiefs, our schedule kind of lightens up, and I, I believe that that's gonna, you know, get us going. You know, I, I like to get going now because, I, I, like I said, any team could be beat on any given Sunday. Eagles, Chiefs, they're not unde they're not undefeated. They're not unbeatable. Falcons just got to play their game. I mean, I, how bad do the Falcons not want to be 0-3? You know, 0-3 is not impossible to come back. But after, you know, starting off with the expectations that we had, that, that's a demoralizing start. But I'm going to be here still. And you're not going to see me say, with all due respect, I'm done. The season's over. Kirk sucks. Bring in Michael Penix. Okay? You got to give opportunity. You got to give time to work the Kings out. Unfortunately, our dumbass head coach, Raheem Morris, who doesn't have a winning record overall, chose not to play anybody during the preseason. Flip side, you could say, hey, Slitta, 
Uh, that doesn't mean anything because the defense didn't play in the preseason and they look dominant. That is true. I, I, I don't, I, I'm having a hard time understanding that one. You know, maybe defense is not as challenging as the offense. I have no fucking clue. But then again, I can look at it on one aspect. The defense doesn't have the football. They just got to set up, run around, and make plays, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. That's confusing to me. But I, I, maybe the offense is a little bit more you know, uh, tougher to learn and you need a little more time to gel. Uh, that's quite obvious, apparently. You know, I, I saw this a couple years ago against the Eagles when Where You Hiding and I went to the game. Mr. Dugas went to the game. We got obliterated because we, did, we didn't play in the preseason. And they showed it. It looked like it. Just like it did on Sunday, it looked like it. You know, but, you know, for people to give up on this team after one game is fucking ridiculous. You know, you're, you got to question, or I question your fanhood. Now, you say bring in Michael Penix Jr. I want people to comment below because n- nobody answers my questions when it comes to A.J. Terrell, how sorry he is. All I, I, I don't hear anything. I hear, yeah, he sucks. But some people do, you know, get into detail about how A.J. Terrell is. You know, but nobody really answers my question. What makes A.J. Terrell a top 10 player in the secondary in this league? Get the fuck out of here. He's terrible, man. He, I mean, he's no better than, than Desmond Trufant, another dumbass we overpaid, right? But answer this question. Answer this question. If our O-line doesn't protect Kirk Cousins, what makes you think Michael Penix is going to do good if he can't get protected? Well, you think he's Superman? You think he's made a kryptonite? Huh? If our O-line, you know, does you know plays like that against Philly, we're probably going to lose big time. If we if they play that way against KC, we're probably going to lose. If we protect, I like our chances. You know, but if you bring in Michael Penix Jr. under an O-line that's not protecting for you, what, what is that going to do? Now, the only positive is, is that Penix can get out of the pocket and he can run around, but... You know, if he doesn't have much time to run around, he's, it's not going to make plays. So it doesn't matter what quarterback you put in there if your O-line is not protecting you. So, I mean, Falcon fans are just some of the dumbest fans. Not all of y'all. You got some really good ones. I, I see a lot of the comments. I may not reply to a lot. I, I click like, but I try to read as many as possible. A lot of knowledgeable ones out there. But you got a selected few that are just numb nuts. Season's over. Bring in Michael Penix. Like, that's going to change anything if the O-line doesn't protect. And it's only one game, man. Again, in a month from now, if we're talking about this same problem, then you then I agree with you. But, Jesus fucking Christ, you lose your first game, you go ballistic. You win your first game, it's on a roll. Rise up. That dumbass slogan. I mean, just – I me, I've seen this team enough in 40-plus years to know that it's a week-by-week week week basis. We haven't earned the right to – be 100% confident with his team, and I can understand the frustration. I understand why Atlanta Falcon fans can get down. Because we have seen six years of fucking terrible football, mediocre football at best, blowing playoff chances, the cr- most crushing Super Bowl loss in history, and we've seen some tough losses throughout, our, even in our winning years. So I, I totally understand. We are starving to see this team succeed and get back to where it was in the middle years of Matt Ryan. I, I get that. I feel your pain and everything, but I'm loyal to the soil, and I'm going to ride with this team always. I've been through the worst seasons, 3-13, and 13, and I've been through the best seasons, 2016, 2012, 2010, that kind of shit, 98. So I ain't going nowhere. My merchandise and stuff show it. And if you care to give some merchandise, let me know for my sports room. Hey, I'll gladly display it and give you a shout. Hit me up on Twitter, at ATL39. Or if you have my Instagram, you know how to hit a hold up or whatever. But uh, stay with it, man. You know, but this one game and we, we suck shit and bringing Michael Penix is just asinine. You know, I expect it from Saints fans because you guys are idiots. And I'm going to talk about y'all later. Again, you beat the Carolina Panthers. Enough said. Okay, so anyways, like, comment, subscribe, everybody. It's little sports fitness motivation channel and everything. And, uh, yeah, well, I can't wait to get this game going or maybe not. I don't know. It's going <laughs> to... It's it's one that could get ugly if we're not playing our, our, our A plus game. So I hope they make the uh, necessary corrections. Okay, because going zero two sucks, but going zero two getting blown out and not playing offensively or defensively is another thing. But if we can go in there, play our game, sneak out a W, boy, that that, that would put. I would put a, I would be great for me, obviously, and great for the team in the city. So we shall see. Sports having the ATL instead of sports fitness motivation. Support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, split of sports. Leave a comment. I'll read it, and I'll see you in the next one.